I'm here in front of you, Bride, in your home here in Branch, and you have a string of words you heard from your father and your grandfather and people over the years. Mm. What was that word you had for snail? Shady brook. A what? A shady brook. A shady brook? Yeah, shady brook. That's what he used to call a snail. Yeah, shady brook. Why? I don't know what it, you know, why he called it shady brook, but that's what he used to call a snail. Shady brook. And did you ever hear you, you had a great word for a tomcat? Baldoon. <laughs> a what? A baldoon. A baldoon. A baldoon. Mm. Tomcat. Tomcat, yeah. Yeah. A baldoon. Did you ever get a scrub from a tomcat? I did. I've got a scrub from a cat, tomcat. Yeah. Yeah. Now they call some scratch. Years ago was a scrub. Years ago was a scrub. Yeah. And did you ever hear the word of no cat to be slooking around you? No, never heard slooping, no. Oh. No. Oh. Do you ever hear of an old cat and be, be a cat and be a bit of an old sleeveine? Sleeveine, yeah. Yeah. I heard that one. A sleeve in. How would you use the word sleeve in? How do I? Yeah. What what it meant? Yeah. A sleeve in was someone that was too lazy to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sleeve in. That's what it meant. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever use the word sleeve in for someone who'd be sly, be cute? Someone be cute. Sly, yeah. 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 Sleeve in. Do you ever hear the word someone would be codding you? Codding you, yes, yeah. Yeah. Tell you a lie. Yeah. 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 Did cod you? Cod you, yeah. You're cardin' me. Yeah. Mm. You'd say that to children, would you? Did yeah. You say it to anybody at your time was cardin' you. <laughs> Somebody cod you, yeah? Somebody cod you. Yeah. yeah. Or don't be acting the cod. Did you ever hear that? No, I never heard that one. We use that at home. Oh. Don't be acting the cod. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Mm. And sometimes you say for a fool, there'd be the words for a fool as well. What would you use for a fool here? Right. Someone cod. I have a like Do you have the word gommel? Gommel, yeah. Yeah, foolish person, yeah, gamble. And would you use that though? Do you ever hear You'd use it, yes, gamble. The gamble. It still uses it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm trying to figure out, well, it's a. A Marcus, you said. A that? Marcus is a, a thing you put in the garden to frighten the birds. It's called a scarecrow. Yeah. Yeah, and you used to call it a Marcus. A Marcus. Marcus, yeah. 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 Do you ever hear the word being used for a foggy day, a mazy old day? Mazy old day, yeah, yeah. Mazy day. A mazy day. Yeah. Often heard it. Do you hear any words for fog, like a morning or a tuck or any other words for fog or? No. 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 Would you say as well if you came in on the rain there now today and you'd be after getting drenched? Drenched. Drenched. Oh. Drenched. Drenched, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. drenched. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be drenched. Drenched, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd be drenched, drenched. And do you ever hear say if you're dying for a drink on a hot day, you'd be dying of the thirst. Not thirst, you used to call it. You'd be a um, what was it? I can't think of it now. Dying of the drought. Dying of the drought. Yeah, dying of the drought. Yeah. Meant there, you, were, you were thirsty. Now I'm prompting you a little bit here, but the reason I'm prompting you is because do you do you use those words anymore yourself? Of course dine, I do. Dying of the drought. Of course I do. Would you use it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And some of them words, like, like the word baldoon, when was the last time you heard that being used in a sentence? I don't know, I can't remember, because I always used to hear my father saying it. Old baldoon. <laughs> no cat of you in the air, there's an old baldoon out. Yeah, mm. yeah. Did yeah. you ever get the word mousing? That'd be mousing around. Mousing, mo mousing around, yeah. Looking for something. Mousing around, looking. Yeah, I Would heard you that. Heard that. I heard it, yeah, but no. don't use it anymore. Yeah, yeah. No. mousing around, yeah. Mousing around, yeah. Do you ever hear the word Megan? No, I never heard that one. Megan would be about if someone would be, be after something as well, no? Megan, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, can't be Megan, yeah? No. Come here to me as well. You were saying that you have a few words written down to me there for me as well. I suppose you use Shanks Mayor. Shanks Mayor, just yeah. yeah. Like if you don't have transportation, you walk and. Shanks Mayor, you go Shanks Mayor. You go Shanks Mayor. Yeah. You go, you go on your foot. Go on your foot. Go on your foot, yeah. yeah. Do you ever hear any words for foot? Like, a, um, a, let me see, like a spog or, or for feet or hands? No. Do you ever hear the old people calling that? No. No. Your father had a great word for a, for a shoe. Brogue. A brogue. Yeah. He'd use the word brogue, would he? Brogue, yeah. Yeah. He'd use the yeah. word brogue. Yeah. His hat, as uh, uh, old scholar hat or a cabine. A cabine. Cabine. Yeah, 
My old cubby in here is just a... Yeah. And he'd say the word... Old here. He'd say the word owl. Owl, yeah. Owl, yeah. He wouldn't say old. No, he wouldn't say old. He'd say owl. Owl. Yeah, owl. Right. That's yeah. what I'd say too. Owl. 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 And tell me this as well, eh? We get very grand for all of a sudden. We, we, we forget we forget ourselves and we change the way we say words. Do you ever hear him saying uh, doer rather than... Doer, yeah. Doer, yeah. And the floor. <laughs> Clean the floor or polish the floor? Pa yeah, scrub the floor. Scrub the floor. Scrub the floor. Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden we, we, we lose them. Yeah. yeah, everybody got grand. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me this, eh? you keep looking at me, forget about them there. And when you be clean the floor, uh, would you ever, even words for example, no like a, a scissors. Did you ever hear the old people call them a sitters? Sitters, yeah, sitters, yeah, sitters. Pass me the sitters there. Yeah. And you know what? We have that at home as well. Yeah. But you'd be have to be you'd be corrected because yeah. you said it was wrong. Yeah. Long ago, they never used to when they were going to bed. They would never, like a door or anything like that when they were going to bed. So uh, one one night, there's somebody came in the house, and my mother heard them coming in. And she sang out at him. She said, "Who is there?" And he said, "There's me, ma'am." And she said, "Who the Jesus is me, ma'am?" <laughs> he told her who he was. He said, "I can't go home." He said, "I got to go. I'm going up, going to bed." <laughs> up to your house. <laughs> yeah. Up to bed. Went up, went to bed. He was drinking. He couldn't go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Went up, went to bed. Debbie, would you use the word "full"? Like that would be he'd be full, full of beer. Or... Full, yeah. Full to the, full to the, full to the what? Oh God! Full to the gunnels. No, front of the gun. No, full to the gills. Full to the gills. Full to the gills. Yeah. Up to the gills. Full, full to the gills. Full to the gills. Yeah. Full as an egg. Did you ever hear that? Full as an egg. Yeah. 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 Would you use that? You heard that? Did you? That's yeah. Full as an egg. Yeah. Full as an egg. Yeah. Full yeah. An egg, yeah. And did you ever hear an egg called a googie? A googie. Yes. That's what we used to call them when we were young. Sure, googie. Yeah. It wouldn't be called eggs. A googie. A googie. Yeah. And. Did you always give a child a googie egg in a cup? Like a bit of an egg mashed up with butter and salt in a mug or a cup with a spoon? Oh, no, no, oh. a googie egg. Yeah. yeah. And have you ever heard the word it'd be an awful tearation? No. Or or to go on the tear? To go on a tear? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go on tear. Someone going to a party or something, they're going on a tear, yeah. Yeah. You'd use that? Yes. Yeah, use all kinds. Things I can't remember. Would you use the word raucous? No. The word what? Raucous. No. No. To go on the tear. Go on tear, yeah. 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 In Ireland, it says to go on a crack. Well, it said to be, to be some crack. Crack. Yeah. Some crack, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You use the word some here as well for to mean very, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, would you say, for example, oh, it's some hot today? Some hot today, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say very hot, but some hot today. Or some coal today. We'd use that now in Southwick for to use that still. <laughs> and did you remember years ago as well, if you were going off somewhere, you'd say to someone, Oh, I bees up in Cuslet there today, or I bees in St. John's. You'd say bees. In bees, yeah. 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 Did you use that word? No, I you, never, no. You wouldn't be? No. Bees for to, do you wouldn't use that now? No. 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 All right. Um, there's, there, there are loads of things. You were telling me as well earlier on as well. Go, do you use the word traipsing? Traipsing. 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 Traipsing around. Traipsing around. Traipsing around. Yeah. Yeah. And how would you I use don't want men traipsing around. Men walking or going off. Going off, yeah. Traipsing. Traipsing, yeah. yeah. Traipsing around. Yeah. There's all kinds of old ones. And do you ever hear the word cru uh, cruising? Cruising, yeah. Yeah. How would you use the word cruising? Cruising around in a, 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 a car. All right. Yeah. But would you word, use the word cruising or crossing for going from house to house, calling to see a neighbour? Yeah, cruising, yeah. Out cruising, out cruising. Yeah, yeah. So say if I was going over to your neighbour's house there and then calling yeah. the next neighbour. Yeah, going cruising, yeah. Going yeah. cruising. Yeah, cruising. Or you cruise around in the vehicle. Oh, that's in the vehicle. Mm. Would you say that but if you were walking? You say that you are, you're going from house to house, you say you're going cruising. Yeah. Yeah. And was that word used before cars ever came? 
It was always used. Yeah. Always used. Always used. Yeah. And tell me this, well, no, the, the cars came, I suppose, years ago. Cars came and things changed. Was there any other name on the car? Do you recall the car or anything else there? No. No. No, no. 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 You go on Shanks Mare before the car. Shanks Mare before the car. Yeah. Or Horse and Boogie. Horse and Boogie. Mm. Did you call it a boogie or a bogey? Bogey. How to say that again? Bogey. A bogey. Mm. And a bogey was a little, was that a little low car? Little car, yeah. Yeah. Little car, yeah. And would you use a bogey for taking in the hay? Use uh, the bogey for taking in the hay, but it would be different, it would be bigger. Bigger? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, did your hay bogies tilt down on the tilt up? No, it was just flat. You could tip it, tip, tip it, it back, yeah. Tip it back, yeah. Tip it yeah, back, yeah. yeah. Then you could pull the cock up on it. Yeah. No, you put it down. You put the the hay on the on the on it with a pitchfork. Pitchfork. Yeah. You pile it up with a pitchfork. You pile it up with a pitchfork. Yeah. And it was a bogey, you said. Okay. Like for weed and home yeah. 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 Now here's another great word. You mentioned pitchfork there. Yeah. You'd have a pitchfork, but then you'd have a sprung as well, wouldn't you? Sprung as well. Sprung is a different. Yeah. Sprung is a different one. Sprung is different. You you uh, like get get getting kelp for the gardens at the seashore. Yeah, they used to sprung to uh, get the kelp. Yeah. And no one you were making the potato beds. Did you make? Did you put set spuds? Did you set potatoes? Yeah. Did you call them beds or ridges? Beds. Beds. We call them beds. Beds of potatoes. Beds of potatoes. Mm. And some people call them ridges, don't they? Yeah, I don't, yeah. we always call them uh, beds of potatoes. Beds of potatoes. Yeah. And you put the kelp in for the fertilizer. Yeah, kelp. Mostly kelp. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 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 And you, you have this, the potatoes in by the 20, so date in May. Well, uh, it's all according to the weather. If the weather was good, you set them early. If it wasn't, you had to wait for yeah. good weather to set them. Set them, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. We used to say set them. Some yeah. says plant them. Plant them. Mm. We always said set the potatoes. Set the potatoes. Yeah. 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 And you'd set the onions as well the same way. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. 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 Normally, we, the, 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 the seed potatoes would be showing up the eyes. Yeah, you cut them. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, what was left was the scallops. The scallops. Sc scallops, we used to call them. Scallops. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And what would you do with them? You'd eat them. You'd cook them. Scallops. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't mm. throw anything out. Because you didn't. Mm. Nothing wasted years ago. No. Not no. like now. No, there was nothing. Nothing wasted. Nothing no. wasted. Nothing. Nothing wasted. Yeah. Did you just keep a cow or a pig or anything? We had cows or four cows. Did you name yeah. the cows? Did you put names on the cows? Oh yes, I can't think of names now. I think we had one was Cherry, yeah. another one Daisy, and Lady, and yeah, what was the other one? I can't think of the other one's name. We had four. But my neighbour at home, it said it's not probably yards in Ireland would be the same. You'd have a Daisy and a Lady. Yeah, yeah, same, yeah, same yeah. Yeah, yeah. Daisy and Cherry. Yeah. yeah. Did, did ever, was he ever told, no only cow, did you milk him with a the, the little stool? I milked the cows. Did you have a little three-legged stool? I did. It wasn't a little three-legged one, it was a little four-legged one. Yeah. <laughs> sit hand, and you didn't have no... Milk machine No then. milk machine then. Don't be hand. We hand, yeah. And then we had a cream separator, you separate the milk from the cream. For, for the water? For the butter. Yeah. Then we used to make the fresh butter. Fresh butter was called, you salted, but it was called fresh butter. Yeah. Do you ever notice years ago when you be, if you be after milking, you dip your finger in your thumb into the milk and put a sign of the cross on the cow? No. Did you ever see that being done? No. 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 Did you ever put anything holy up in the bales in the, with the cows to keep looking after the cows and it's a little religious thing or something like that? Some people used to put metal on them. Miraculous metal. On the cow? On the cow, yeah. Or on the horse. Yeah, when they were going away. Would have tied it onto the collar? Yeah. Or where would it put it? Where? Or, or, yeah. or the rear? Yeah, the horse's, and the horse's mane. Mane? Yeah, and you put it on the cow, on the collar. On the collar of the cow? Yeah, collar of the cow. Yeah. 
Would you bring the cows in for the winter, would you? Put cows always in for the winter. Yeah. Mm. There's two cows leave them out here. Yeah. Too much snow. Yeah. yeah. And tell me this, did you ever see when your mother bought, making the, bought her years ago? I used to make it myself. Did you make it yourself? Yeah. Good one. You had a churn. Yeah. And when buttermilk, you churn it so long until the buttermilk came out. Yeah. And then you'd wash it until the water be clear. There'd be no sign of any milk in the water. And then you'd salt it to taste. Make prints out of it. The pats, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you have an end over end churn or a dash churn? Was it one the one you turned? It was a hand churn. And yeah. with the beaters inside in it? Yeah. 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 You turn it. Mm. Were you ever told as well that uh, you'd always bless the churn when you'd be making butter? No, I never heard that one. Never heard that one? No. No. <gasps> or, or would you bless the butter when it'd be made? No. 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 no, no, no. <laughs> My granny at home said when they used to make the butter, they'd always leave a little bit of butter in the back of the door for the fairies. They were oh, great, okay. Great the fairies. Said, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you put little butter pats on them. Did you, did you little, little pats for making the our little designs in the butter, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Did you have any other words for butter like that? Any words for milk or anything like that? No, no different than... Did not you, what you have now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you ever hear the old people saying they wouldn't say meat, they'd say mate. 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 Yeah, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Would they say to be not and likewise for heat they'd say hate. Hate, yeah. 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 And there's cowl out. Did you use cowl? Cowl. The same way. Cowl. Like cowl, that's cowl, you'd say cowl, there's cowl out. Well that's the way we say it still in Wexford. That's all doesn't that's the old way of saying it. Cowl. Yeah. Cowl, yeah. Hate, mate, yeah. cowl. Cowl, yeah. Tea for tea. Tea, yeah. Cup of tea. Cup of tea. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it Cassie? And you stop, do you stop using those words or pronunciations? No, I use them sometimes. Cup of tea. Oh, this is cup of tea. Cup of tea. Do you always yeah. say that? Yeah, oh, this is cup of tea. And a mug up. You know what a mug up is? I don't. <laughs> Boil the kettle outside in the country and have a cup of tea. And a slice of bread and molasses or something with it. Have a mug up. Tail, yeah, we looked at it. Yeah. It would, it would, it would, it would, Mogo. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? I bet your tail outside always tastes nicer. Why? It always tastes nicer. Or tastes better. When, yeah. Yeah. Always tastes better. Yeah, it's not funny, isn't it? <gasps> yeah. Mm -hmm. And did you ever remember as a little one collecting uh, eggs at Easter? No, on Easter Sunday when you were a little girl. Did you have chocolate eggs? No, we had real eggs. <laughs> no chocolate eggs then when I was a little girl. Mm. Same at home, my mother and father were the same. Yeah. Now, do you ever remember sitting down on Easter Sunday morning and boiling up a pile of eggs and all sitting around and eating them? Sitting around eating them, yeah. Did you? You'd save the eggs until, uh, for, for Easter Sunday. And uh, that's what you'd have Easter Sunday morning. You could either fry them or boil them. Fry them or boil them? Fry them or boil them, yeah. We were, whatever way you wanted them, you could fry them or boil them. And would your mother and father and brothers and sisters all sit around and eat a couple well, of eggs? Well, whatever was left. Yeah. The whole crowd would be sitting around eating. Did you keep hens? Yeah, did. We had a hens, yeah. 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 And you know what I... Chookies, we used to call them. <laughs> what did you call them? Chookies. And no one you call your hen a chucky. Why did you... Why did you call them a chucky? I don't know, that's what everybody called them. Chookies. Now, when you were outside calling your hens... I'd say chook, chook, chook. I called a chook. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Chuck, 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 yeah. Now, did everyone say that chuck, chuck, chuck? Well, where I lived, they did. Chuck, chuck, yeah. Did you have a pig when you were younger? No, no. But they used to call them Bacchus. What did they call them? Bacchus. Bacchus? Bacchus, yeah. A pig? A pig, yeah. Bacchus. What did you call a babby pig? I don't know. Did you call him a bonnet? Right on, bonnet. What did you call him? A bonnet. A bonnet? Yeah. Bonnet. 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 Yeah. When was the last time you heard that word? Long while ago. A bonnet. Mm -hmm. Little baby pig. Baby pig. And would you ever call him a bonnine or a bonnet bon? No, no bonnet. Bon bonnet. Yeah. Now, do, you re do you remember as well when the people would call a pig in a home years ago? Did go, uh, harsh jock, harsh jock, harsh jock, harsh jock? No, I never heard it. No. No. Are you called? No, you be calling the cow. Bail up, bail up, bail up. No, never heard that one either. 
different things that you call You called the cow by their name. Here, Daisy, here. Yeah, yeah. But when you were feeding the hens. Chuck, chuck. Chuck, chuck. That's an interesting one now. <laughs> Some people say that comes from the Irish word. There's an Irish word that comes from. Yeah. Because the Australian Jews chuck. Here's not a word that I've heard whatever for the Australian Jews and I could have went to Australia with the Irish. If someone was a bit clumsy or a bit of a fool to call him a galoot. A galoot, yeah. Heard that word. You big galoot. <laughs> did you hear that word? I did hear that word many times. You big galoot. And what kind of fella would be called a galoot? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A big galoot or a big Egypt of fella? <laughs> big galoot. <laughs> Kind of a lazy fellow. Oh, a lazy fellow. A kind of a lazy fellow. Yeah. yeah. He wouldn't warm himself. <laughs> oh. Oh. You're big galoot. Yeah. Bit of lord. If you asked him to do something and he didn't do it, you call him a big galoot. Tell me this as well. You were saying there was a, you use the word, uh, Wished. Wished. In other words, shut up. <laughs> I won't be wishing for you for a while because I'm strict <laughs> questions more to ask you. But you do wish. Wished. 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 Wished up there, will you? Wished. Quite enough. Will you say quite enough? No. Wished. Wished, wished or shut up. Wished there. Mm. When you want to be the silence. Yeah. Wished. Don't make too mm. much noise. Uh, sure wished. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Would you use the word diversion? No, I never heard it. Yeah. You'd mm. use the word for an int. Fernent, yeah. Yeah, you're sitting down in front. No, they wouldn't say in front to be fernent. Fernent? Yeah, fernent, yeah. Or get out fernent me. Yeah. Did we hear the word arse fernent? Or arse foremost? Arse foremost. <laughs> what does that mean again? If you put your jumper on backwards, is there not something? To be on arse first. Oh, yeah. Arse foremost, yeah. 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 Did you use the word arse ways? What, what? Arse ways. Arse ways, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't know the arse ways. <laughs> I, I'm looking at some more of your words here you have down for me here. Um, you were saying a yaffle, was it? A yaffle, it's an armful of fish. A yaffle? A yaffle. And that's an armful of fish? Armful of fish. A yaffle? A yaffle. And would you use yaffle for an armful of spuds or an armful of apples? No, just for the fish. An ar a yaffle of fish is an armful. And there's another word you said that you use here. Gansey. Gansey is a, a fisherman's sweater. Used to knit them, knit them with wool thread, and they be called a Gansey. The men up around the Gansey going out fishing. Wool thread. Wool thread. Yeah, used to be knit. Uh, women used to knit them. Would they be white? White, mostly white. Yeah. And were the different designs coming down? Different designs on them. Yeah, um, cable stitch coming down. The front and down the back. The Gansey. Did your mother knit him? My mother knit him. Many times. And there were fishermen's jumpers? Fishermen's, yeah. Fishermen's sweater. A fisherman's sweater? Yeah. And would I not be able to know your mother's design from your neighbour down the road? No, I don't think so. It'd be the, it'd be the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And were they waterproof? The weren't? No, no. They were wool. Wool. Wool, yeah. To take in the water. Yeah. They're big and heavy, weren't they? Big and heavy. White. White. Or off white. A white Gansey.